Hey all you waifu collectors, this is the June Slime and Robot update. Guess what's added to this update? Is it slimes? Is it robots? Well, it's uh, it's both. And uh, there's been several bug fixes. I'm not going to cover any of them in this video. If you want to read through them, well, the changelog is below, or a link to the changelog is below. Anyway, uh, let's jump right in. Well, the first big thing added is there is a king slime boss and also slime monsters. It's a bunch of slimes and slimy stuff. So this is a urgent quest, the two star urgent quest. I'm going in with the super overpowered team. Yeah, so I'm going to skip the story and this slime, the king slime, he only takes, well, it only takes what, one damage. But every time it splits, it uh, takes 100 hit points from its from itself into a slime, and uh, it divides. That's its skill. It divides. And of course, my overpowered team is like knocking these slimes out quick. But that's how you win: is you knock out these little tiny slimes, and the boss kind of kills itself. Yeah. Uh, it'll call... The Divide skill is a boss-only skill for just the Urgent Quest. And it calls a random number of minion slimes. And uh, any of the dead enemies, it'll just, like, remove them. <coughs> it'll also... It can also, like, consume uh, slimes that are alive and bring it back into itself to heal itself. But, of course, my overpowered team is like, you know, it's just... It's winning kind of easy. And then of course, the world boss has been changed to, for this month, has been changed to the King Sly. And it has a skill of triage to where it can heal itself. Because uh, this divide and consume skill is more for story purposes. And there we go, I win. Awesome. There's some rewards. Yay. Alright big thing for this month is adding a new banner, a new special event banner, and it is Riley, the cat robot thing. It. Also, get to show off, so each of these banners, the uh, characters now do random animations. It's a bit more um, animated than just standing there, and oh, she tripped and fell. Also, I fixed uh, around the edges so they animate to the borders. Which is awesome. Um, yeah, the click drag works, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see if we can get Riley. And uh, the drop rate has been increased to 4.5%. And as you can see, I did not get it. And I did not get it. Awesome. This works great for a demo, right? Ooh. Unfortunate. Man, look at these rolls. There we go. Oh, look at that. I got two. I got two Rileys. Awesome. Ta-da. And, uh... Awesome. We have Riley 1 and Riley 2. They have, um... I didn't write down what personalities I gave them, but... They have, uh... Yeah, they have different personalities and expressions. the other Riley I have here. But yeah, each one is a bit different. The Riley comes with its own armor, own unique armor, called the Robot Cat. So, like, completely unequipped naked robot. Yep. And can auto-equip with uh, any of the other equipment. Looks cool. And then, of course, uh, let's pick you, for example. And we can equip robot stuff on everyone else. So if you want your waifu to be dressed up as a robot, then you can do so. However, this is a big however, there's no robot cat. Um, whoops, robot claws. There we go. So armor on a waifu. Awesome. 
Alright, there's a few uh, warband changes. The first of which... Um, ooh, look, someone's right next to me. Uh, the first of which is around these edges. Uh, all across the board and leading to the point of the uh, Demon King's castle is um, the difficulty has been reduced, especially around these outsides. Uh, it's still... They're still kind of powerful, but um, they're more manageable. So, enemy level 46. Hey, look, here's some slimes. Uh, 46, pretty easy to knock out. Nice. And we're gonna claim this. The uh, rewards for the Warband have been reduced by 10% because the 1 million point cap has been too easy to reach. If you pretty much just attack a spot and claim a spot for the whole month, you're easily going to get all the points you need. So, you know what I'm going to... Let's see what this person is up to. I'm going to move up here. Ooh, it's owned by me. That's awkward. I'm going to attack me and let's see if I win against me. Ah, doing good so far. Uh-oh. Was doing good. Am I going to make it? I think so. I'm going to win against me. Look at that. I won against me. Awesome. And now I'm going to move back. Move back. And so this is level 113 because I'm a little bit farther from the edge. Not this much far. So it goes from like, what, 40s to 100s to... Uh, of course, the Demon King Castle is uh, 200. Always 200. On uh, successfully logging in, account details are synced for better uh, cross platform stuff. Um, most notably, the squads. If you make a squad on one computer and then go to another, it'll sync. Added in the display name, which can be changed. So we have our goddess of dragon showing up, and she's going to also ask us for our email address. So this way, by entering an email address and then of course validating it, uh, if you forget your password, then it can you can reset it. And it is opt out by default because, like the Goddess of Dragons, I also absolutely hate ads and marketing, let alone selling personal information. It is gross. And this is completely optional, you can leave it blank. So, what I've done, I have a username of June. Please don't hack me. And I've changed the display name to June Slime Robot. And what I can do is do test at test.com. I'm actually, you know what? Let me use like uh, test at psychopath.com. There we go. Now I'm going to send the validation and by checking the email address and validating it through the browser, then it will link. If for whatever reason it fails, you can come back in here and you can change it again. And also, this is important for GDPR, but you can also export personal data account details, and it saves it to a text file. And if you want, you can also delete your account. But you have to, like, confirm it, and OK it, and then it's marked for deletion. It isn't deleted immediately, but it marks it for deletion. So there's, like, a very slim window for account recovery. And you need a contact support for that. So uh, if you delete your account, make sure you're actually wanting to delete it. So in the shop, there are now less at the beginning. However, if you go down to the crystal shop, there are now purch purchasable clothing options. So this is all the armor and whatnot is all cosmetic. 
The new uh, robot cat armor, it uh, tends towards lightning. However, it can show up in, under other natures. The uh, Any of these rare, well, it, they're re rarely going to show up, but they can. And of course, just regular old, like enlistment, they'll have uh, what elements they tend towards. And of course, ones that don't tend towards anything can be, well, they don't have a label. So these deal glasses are rare, but the racing swimsuit is uh, tends towards sky. And uh, along with the uh, display name, you can also purchase uh, for 100 crystals to change your name if you want to. And this is a test for right now, but I'm going to add in battle passes, however they're going to be tied towards uh, a theme, and they'll never expire. So anyone that joins the game late, they can work on this, uh, I guess you would call older content. Um, to entice uh, spending. There's the enlistment clothing package. This, there's going to be a lot added to this, but for right now it's kind of short. And it's only one crystal, so I'm going to buy this. Cool. So when you buy it, uh, in the shop, when the shop is refreshed, those things from the clothing package have a chance to show up. And last but not least is a purchase crystals. This is going to be the only monetization in the game, within the game. So uh, right now I have it hooked up to coffee, and if you click buy and click OK, it's going to take you to the link. When you purchase, you need to make sure you have an email address set, because if you do not, then any crystals you buy, they're not going to go anywhere, and you have to contact support and uh, get that figured out that way. So get your email set before buying crystals, okay? Super important. And that is it for the uh, Slime and Robot update. What do you think? I think it's cool. I put a lot of work into this, and I hope you enjoy it. If you want to help with the or see the development of the game and um, whatnot, or even just talk about the game, be sure to join the Discord. There's a link in the bottom. Uh, of course, you can do the generic like and subscribe. And also, there is a trailer, which hopefully I'll link at the end of this if I remember to do it. I've made an alpha trailer for the game. Uh, please watch that. It's short, and I think it covers everything in the game that you can do. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.